Kinesius obituary. Kai Tennyson Nesius, 19, of Charleston, West Virginia, passed away completely in his sleep on December 18, 2023. Kai was a recent graduate at George Washington High School and had just finished his first semester at Ohio University in the College of Business. Kai was a natural leader and the president of his pledge class at Sigma Alpha Epsilon Fraternity. A service will be held at First Presbyterian Church, 16 Leon Sullivan Way, Charleston, West Virginia at 2 p.m. on Friday, December 22, 2023. Visitation will be held at 1 p.m. Kai Nesius, a promising student at Ohio University, tragically passed away in Charleston, West Virginia, leaving behind a legacy overshadowed by the devastating consequences of drug overdose. As communities grapple with the reverberations of his untimely death, it serves as a somber reminder of the harrowing realities of substance abuse plaguing young individuals. Nesius, beloved by friends and esteemed by professors, was known for his infectious enthusiasm and unwavering devotion to his studies. However, his battle with drug addiction ultimately cut short his pursuit of a better future. The passing of Kinesius, a bright and promising student at Ohio University, has left a void in the hearts of those who knew him. His untimely death in Charleston, West Virginia, serves as a tragic reminder of the devastating consequences of drug overdose. While we mourn the loss of a young soul, we must also recognize the urgent need for action to address the rampant drug crisis that plagues our society. In the wake of this heartbreaking loss, the obituary of Kinesius takes on a greater significance. It becomes a poignant plea to address the rampant drug crisis gripping our society, shedding light on the urgent need for comprehensive support systems and resources for those grappling with addiction. It is a call to action, urging us to extend empathy, guidance, an effective treatment to prevent similar heartaches. Nesius's passing underlines the pressing gaps in mental health support and addiction treatment, compelling communities, educational institutions, and driven to prioritize resources and initiatives to prevent such tragic losses. Kai Nesius was more than just a student, he was a beacon of enthusiasm and dedication. Beloved by friends and esteemed by professors, he approached his studies with unwavering passion. His infectious spirit and commitment to his academic pursuits leave a lasting impression on those around him. Kai's potential was limitless, and his loss is deeply felt by the entire community. He truly was a loyal and dedicated friend to anyone he ever met. He was the glue that held his friends together and he brought out the confidence within his close group of friends. He loved spending time with his family and friends and never passed up the opportunity to see any of them at any given moment. His short life was filled with countless memories from trips to concerts to celebrations. Kai was a bright light in the lives of everyone who loved him. In fact, his very first word spoken was, light. Kai never passed up an adventure to explore the world or an opportunity to do something new. He loved backpacking, camping, skydiving, cliff jumping, swimming, fishing, hiking, and biking. He thoroughly enjoyed the outdoors and explored the Grand Tetons, Yellowstone National Park, the Badlands, Sedona, the Grand Canyon, and Canada, just to name a few. Kai also enjoyed all things sports, hats, animals, driving, and was almost always taking pictures. Music was a big part of Kai's life and he knew just the right song to play at any given moment to fit the mood. Kai was the music. Kai is survived by his mother and father, Matthew Tension Nesius of Charleston, West Virginia and Stephanie Joan Nesius of Athens. Oh, his sister, Lola Grace Nesius, stepmother, Melissa Jean White of Charleston, West Virginia, grandparents, John and Marie Nesius, Charleston, West Virginia, John and June Evener, Athens, Ohio, uncles and aunts, TJ and Angie Nesius, Raleigh, North Carolina, Brian and Mark Lee Hawkins, Rock Hill, South Carolina, John and Selena Evener, Upper Sandusky, Ohio, Andy Evener, Athens, Ohio, cousins, John Joseph Nesius, Lily Nesius, Maggie Pack, Natalie Pack, Landon Hawkins, Hannah Hawkins, Hope Hawkins, Dylan Hawkins, Peyton Evener, and Avery Evener. The legacy of Kinesius, 
though marred by tragedy, has the power to ignite a transformative movement. His untimely passing serves as a catalyst for change, inspiring us to take proactive measures and foster compassion in our communities. Through his memory, we can create a world where lives are not cut short by the grip of addiction. Kinesius's life and the circumstances surrounding his death inspire us to take proactive measures in addressing the issues of substance abuse and addiction. We must move beyond mere awareness and actively seek solutions that prevent similar heartaches. By fostering compassion and understanding, we can create an environment where individuals struggling with addiction feel supported and empowered to seek help. The tragic passing of Kinesius serves as a poignant plea to confront the pressing issue of the drug crisis that plagues our society. It is a call to action, urging us to come together and tackle the root causes of substance abuse. Kai's untimely death is a stark reminder that we cannot afford to turn a blind eye to this pervasive problem. In the wake of Kinesius's passing, it becomes evident that we must establish comprehensive support systems for individuals grappling with addiction. It is not enough to simply acknowledge the issue, we must provide the necessary resources and guidance to help those in need. By offering a network of support, we can empower individuals to overcome their struggles and pave the way for a brighter future.